Hello, hello, hello. I'm over here in the garden. Uh, I'm doing a bit of radio. Why am I in the garden? Why am I not up a mountain with a beautiful vista with just the right amount of gear to do some epic DX? Uh, still got COVID. It's been a week now. I'm still testing positive, but I'm feeling pretty good. So I thought I'd come out in the garden, set up a, a kind of a, a makeshift field station in the pergola. <laughs> see how long I'm allowed to do this. Uh, put up a, a mast, which as you can see is a, a flexing to one size a bit so that I can get this Wind Camp Gypsy full size portable dipole in here. I've only got it on the uh, seven megahertz uh, 40 meter settings, which is doing good. Uh, by the looks of things, it's all stretched out and nice. Uh, I don't know if you know much about this antenna. We can have a close look at it in a minute because I also want to test this portable power pack, this portable power station for running my ICOM IC705. So can we kill two birds with one stone, three birds with one stone, and also get a bit of radio in in the garden? Let's take a look. Let's get a bit closer though, a bit closer to the action. First of all, let's take a quick look at the Windcamp Gypsy 5 to 55 megahertz HF portable full-size horizontal dipole antenna. Now, although it does have a pretty hefty ballon, which is heavy, that's not what's pulling over my mast at the moment. My mast is being pulled over because I've kind of tied uh, to the corner of the shack, the end uh, of the dipole, one end of the dipole. So it's pulling it right over. That way I could get the other end in on seven megahertz and um, very well built bit of kit uh, comes in a handy little uh, carry pouch which holds both the ballon and the antenna winders it's rated at 100 watts pep and it will work on 5 7 10 14 18 21 24 28 29 megahertz 50 megahertz as well as your uh, 30 17 and 12 is that enough for you so uh, what have i got it plugged into well, it's plugged into my ICOM IC705, which is on a little tripod on this brand new piece of garden furniture. Still got to properly build. Um, got my microphone, got this little lead here, which enables me to take the ICOM IC705 from the standard uh, portable battery on the back five watts to a whopping 10 watts, doubling the power output of this little radio, which could make a little bit of difference. I've also got a power amplifier knocking around, which will run uh, at about 30, 35 watts, which uh, could be kind of interesting to test with this. And what is this? This is a 72,000 milliamp hour portable power station, delivering 266 watt hours of power, weatherproofed, it comes in a handy pouch, it has a light on the back, which uh, I've only got to shine red at the moment. I haven't really had a play with it because I don't really need it as a light. Uh, and it also has wireless charging. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be able to power my radio with the uh, cigar lighter adapter that it has here. Uh, on top of that, I could charge my radio via USB or USB-C into a micro USB, which the radio takes. It's also got... Um, DC in and out and USB C in and out. So um, plenty of uh, connectors there to keep you going. Uh, you can select between 12 volt, 18.5 uh, volt, volt, 20 volt and 24 volt with a long press of this button. And uh, I've got it set to the standard 12 volts there. Inside you've got a uh, LiPo 4 batteries, as I said, delivering about 266 watt hours. Now, the wireless charging pad on the top, although very much a nice to have if you're out and about camping and you use your phone alongside your radio and don't want to carry any extra leads or at least can magically charge wirelessly without. One thing I want to test is whether or not this gives any extra RF interference um, because ultimately I just want to plug into this and get clean power straight into the radio. So let's give it a go. Experiencing some epic sun at the moment, which I am not going to complain about. Uh, let me turn this on. The ICOM IC705 running at the moment. Oh, I can hear some noises there already. And that looks like a jam-packed band of signals. 
Okay, so running 50% of power. Maximum this can do is 10 watts, currently doing five because it's on the, uh, the battery in the back there. Just plug in the lead. Don't know if I need to turn this socket on. I'm just going to go straight into it. And according to the icon here, I'm now running 10 watts of power. Nice. So we know that bit works. Didn't see any increase in the noise. Let's have a quick flick around here. There's a lot going on. Incidentally, I got the Windcamp Gypsy from Martin Lynch and Sons. Thank you very much there for the amazing service. You'll be paying 70 odd quid for the portable full size dipole. So what I want to check is whether or not I'm going to get any in any extra interference should I be charging with the wireless charger. There's loads of stuff going out there. So for me to check whether or not I'm going to be getting any extra interference, I'm actually going to select a, a different frequency where there's very little on. Uh, let's go for um, 144 and um, yeah I'm still picking up stuff obviously through the dipole um, but I should be able to see if there's any extra interference from this but I'm gonna have to get uh, another phone because I'm currently filming with my phone okay I have a phone acquired for testing uh, just heard that there's some football being played not so far away just ignore that I'm just gonna place this on see if it starts charging no, this is one thing I liked about this particular wireless charger. It's not on unless you turn it on. So am I going to notice any difference? Um, turning it on should be just a push of this button. Now the power pack is on. No, not charging at the moment. That's because it's probably this size. Yes, it's on. Look at that. Can you see that? Huge difference. Showing me that it wasn't causing any interference before because it wasn't on at all. Take the phone off. And it goes. After a, a short time, this will turn off totally. There is power to this right now, I imagine, but not an issue with interference, it seems, until the phone is on there and charging straight away. Now, this isn't just unique to this. This is unique, I've found, to any wireless charger. When I'm on my handheld radio, for example, and I'm walking around near a wireless charger, you are going to get that interference. So. Uh, I'm absolutely not criticizing this at all because this one you can turn off. Okay, so the wireless charger is now off. Uh, the battery is now charging the radio. At least it is now. And uh, still no interference. Yep, really happy with that. You're just going to have to remember, don't charge your phone whilst you're trying to operate the radio. Quick summary on what we've been looking at. Two things. The Windcamp Gypsy from Martin Lynch and Son. I've only been on the one band and I'm very impressed with it. Many more bands to experiment, hopefully out in the field on top of a mast. I was a little bit concerned of the weight of the ballon, but it's not causing too much trouble at all because once it's stretched out, relatively stable. Two more guys on there and you should be able to stand all kinds of wind. It's pretty windy here today. Uh, so, Great little full-size, super portable, uh, multi-band, full-size dipole. Um, and then there's this, this portable power pack, which I shall drop a link underneath. I'll also link on G5DOC. Surely you're subscribed to G5DOC. I don't care if you subscribe to this video. Hopefully you are. Um, but I do care 
if you subscribe to g5doc.net. Um, because I'll be talking about, all, I've already talked about this actually there, uh, but I'll be sharing uh, further experiments with both the antenna and this power pack. I would say this is great for amateur radio. Um, now that you know that the wireless charger can be turned off, nothing to be concerned about there. Um, but you don't have to be into amateur radio to appreciate portable power everywhere. Multiple connectors, it'll even take a solar panel. I've got a solar panel that I could plug into this to test even further. USB-C, USB, your DC in and out, everything you can possibly need. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy taking that to places where I need power for either radios or other technology. So that's it, I think. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing to both places, here and G5DOC, and I'll catch you further down the feeds. Um, enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to do a bit of radio and, uh, yeah, make some contacts all going to plan. Cheers for watching. CQ40, CQ40, Golf 5, Delta, Oscar, Charlie calling CQ40 meters. CQ40. 7 3. CQ, 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 CQ. I really should do some kind of audio soundtrack thing over this logo thing. So, oh, we'll do soon. I can't keep doing this. Golf 5, Delta, Oscar, Charlie returning. I've got a lawnmower to contest with in the background. And uh, I can hear you loud and clear, Brett. How are you?